Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be looking at some new information that reveals the legendary channel Catfish is indeed in Red Dead Redemption 2. So in case you guys have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, this is one of the biggest myths and legends in the game. Because in the strategy guide of Red Dead Redemption 2, it has all the fish listed. And it also has the legendary variants as well. And one of those legendary fish is the channel catfish. Now the normal ones can be found in the swamps when it's overcast using a swamp lure. And those range between 14 and 20 pounds. Pretty standard. However, what made the legendary channel catfish so iconic was that its weight was 180 pounds and 7 ounces, easily making it the biggest legendary fish in the entire game. In fact, the next closest fish was only 54 pounds and 4 ounces, and that is the sockeye salmon. So a 50 pound fish is absolutely massive, a 180 pound fish, that's like the size of a human. So you can understand why players would want to try and find this because that would literally be like pulling a full-sized human out of the water. And even during the legendary fishing quest that you get involved with, the game sort of points you to, yes, eventually you will be able to catch it. In case you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, it all begins by talking to the legendary fisher fisherman, uh, Jeremy Gill. And this is what he has to say. Hey. Ah, oh, ah, oh, God. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Uh, who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. Nice to meet you. You too. Yeah. John. Sure you don't want a photo? Not right now. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? Ah! <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. So you're, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case... Send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send your fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. Now, once you spoke to him and you got the map, and if you find all of the 12 legendary fish, Jeremy will send you an invitation. He says, hello, chum. You've bitten the worm, haven't you? What a glorious feeling must be coursing through your veins after having battled these beasts. And just think, right now, you're no doubt radiating. But consider that what you feel, it's only one-tenth of the self-actualization and enlightenment I've achieved through a lifetime of angling. You've sent some fine specimens for sure. You must come see me. I have fantastic tales of my time in Italy, which I did not include in my book. I'll be at my fishing cabin on the shore between Flatneck Station and Clements Point. Call by soon. I'll autograph below. This letter will surely be worth a sum someday. Your friend and fish, Jeremy Gill. And when you return to his cabin, he then explains how you and him are going after the legendary channel catfish. 
A fan. Good timing. Do you have a camera? Sure. But what are you talking about? Liars! Damn liars! Well, you know, they're the liars. Hey, are you the guy that took the photos? I don't think so. Oh, must have been that fella from Quebec. I... Did you say you had a camera? Yeah. Good. You'll do then. What do you need? I found a giant catfish up near Frontera Bridge over in Rio Bravo. Isn't that out in the desert? Yes. And I'm going to catch it. And you are going to photograph me catching it. And then these bastards who call me a fake will discover who really catches these fish. You do, right? Well, you know, some of them. Listen, I know how to catch fish. Ah. <sighs> Come on. I don't want to go out to Rio Bravo. Ah, it'll be an adventure. Come on. I've got quite enough adventures. <sighs> I'll give you something you really love. <sighs> okay, then. And once you've accepted the mission and on the way to catching this legendary catfish, John himself even questions the legitimacy of this. He says a catfish in the desert is that normal. Jeremy Gill says, not at all. That's why it's so fascinating. It adapted to a new environment. He said that it turned a horrible pallid yellow color and weighs close to 200 pounds by all accounts. So apparently Jeremy Gill has actually seen it and then you actually get the chance to catch it. Ah, this is the place. <laughs> okay, what's the plan? Oh, no, catfish are easy. Just a couple of rashers of bacon and that boy will be fine. Listen, I want you to get a picture of me actually landing the thing. I'll try. No, you do your best. Okay, chum? Set up over there. <laughs> yes, boss. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. We got something. Oh, oh we got something! <laughs> Is it that catfish? <laughs> it's something big! Oh. Good. Hurry up. Oh, no, don't you rush me, chum. This is me and the gods wrestling for immortality. Oh, oh, oh my God. It's a monster. Oh, oh, God, he's gone again. Damn. Oh, oh, no, oh, I still got him on the line. You get ready. Oh, 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 oh. he's going to come back again. I'm going to pull him in just a little bit. I'm going to tire him out. Get the camera ready. I'm ready. Oh, oh, oh come on, boy. Come on, boy! Oh, come on, he's huge! Come on! Here, get this! Get this! Here he comes! Here he comes! Here comes him off! Oh, oh. My God! So as you guys saw there, Jeremy Gill is pulled into the water by something massive and we actually don't see what it is. Now, one is to believe that this is the legendary catfish that pulled him into the water. However, no one to this point has been able to either see the catfish or catch him until recently with the addition of Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. And this is what the legendary catfish looks like. Believe it or not, you can actually spawn it in like it has a legitimate model in game. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is absolutely horrifying. But yes, it does look as if like it could be close to 200 pounds. I mean, this thing is easily like six or seven feet long. Now, it doesn't necessarily match the description, and it kind of looks a little bit like mangled and misformed, but you can still tell that it is a giant looking catfish. Now, this legendary catfish actually has two versions in the files. One of them is called AC Fish Channel Catfish 01, and another one is called Fish Channel Catfish XL. So this pink looking one that you can see on the screen right now, that is the XL version. And I don't know why Rockstar have two different versions. The only thing I could think of is that maybe you're supposed to see a smaller model when you're holding it in your hands. And maybe the big model was for a glimpse of it during a cutscene when the fisherman pulls it out of the water. 
Now, when I saw that this was possible to spawn it in, I loaded up my game on PC and I tried to spawn in the legendary catfish and it did some crazy things to my game. So I wasn't able to get as clear of a screenshot as we were just looking at, but I was able to spawn in both versions. So it is legitimate. And this means that the legendary catfish is in the game. Now, just because we can spawn its model into the game, just like how we were able to spawn Princess IKZ into the game the other day, it doesn't necessarily mean that there is a quest or a way to catch this legendary catfish. It could have easily been cut content, where Rockstar had a mission for us to catch it, but at the last moment said, no, we're not going to do that. And that would maybe explain why it's still in the strategy guide, and that would also maybe explain why there's literally a mission leading up to its capture, and we think Jeremy Gill was eaten by the catfish. Or there's a chance that maybe down the line, Rockstar is still planning to do some story mode additions for RDR2, and maybe, just maybe, the legendary catfish will be a part of that. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you think this adds any more clarity to this extreme mystery of the legendary channel catfish? I think it's cool that the model can actually be found in the game, just like the, the model and character of Princess IKZ. It adds a little bit of closure. It still doesn't tell us how we go about catching it, but at least we know it's in the game now and it's not just, you know, a myth. So again, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this and more. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest Red Dead Redemption and GTA videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.